Welcome back, Beer Tubers. Time to take a look at Deschutes' 25th anniversary ale, which is, of course, Black Butte 25. So they changed it up again this year. Uh, this particular vintage is, is brewed with dates, figs, cocoa nibs, and they did 50% aged in bourbon barrels and with 12.5% of whatever batch with uh, black currants, which I think were in the bourbon barrels as well. So this one's 11.3% uh, this year. Best after date of June 10th of 2014. Should probably be around the time I open the, my next other bottle of this. Got to pour it out. It's it's definitely not pitch black. You can see a little bit of uh, deep, you know, mahogany red notes to it. Uh, it's just a very dark brown. The head's got a light brown character to it. A little bit of alcohol eggs on the glass. Get the aroma. Ooh yeah, it smells awesome. Oh, uh, you're getting everything they mentioned. Uh, it's, I'm immediately getting chocolate and figs. And you start to get a little bit of like a roastiness. Uh, it's really big on the dark fruits, all, all the dates, the figs. So um, picking up a little bit of vanilla and bourbon in there, but not as much as if it were 100% barrel aged. But let's dig in. Cheers. Oh, that's drinking great right now. Big, big dark fruits. Um, ooh, yeah. That's nice. Picking up some of that barrel character at the end. Big sweetness up front. Dates, figs, big time. Uh, dark fruits dominate up front. It's got some sweet caramel note in there as well. And then um, midway through, start to pick up a lot of that chocolate character. You get a little bit of a roasty coffee note, but mostly just a big chocolate middle that is kind of like transitions from being like a sweeter milk chocolate into a little more bittersweet. Finishes nice and dry. It's got some of that oak tannin on the back end, some vanilla. Uh, a little bit of that caramelly uh, bourbon notes to it, so it's it, it's pretty complex right away, and um, the, the the nuances I think of this year are a little more barrel aging, plus the uh, I think it was the the black currants in there as well, adding a like a, a tartar uh, dark fruit character in there as well, and uh, you kind of pick that up towards the end. Actually, the more I drink it, the more of those those tart currants are coming into play. Um, especially in the, in the finish of the beer as it dries out and I'm, I'm getting a little more uh, bourbon character as well the more I drink it. Um, just a really nice complex beer. Uh, it's 11.3%, very, very drinkable. Can't smell the alcohol, cannot taste the alcohol. It's got a little bit of a warming character. Uh, it, it's pretty easy drinking stuff because it's not the thickest beer. Certainly not thin by any means and just another fantastic uh, year of uh, the Black Butte anniversary beer. This one's getting a, it's an easy A for me. I'll be, I'll be curious to see where this goes with those currants in there, adding that tartness um, and how it ages and uh, you know, how those fruits do as well. But uh, absolutely worth getting if you can find it or trade for it, certainly. Get two bottles, drink one now or as fresh as you can get it. And then uh, drink the other one at least sometime after the best after date. It's gonna wrap it up. Till next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.